Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will explore how to estimate land surface temperature automatically in the QGIS environment compared to other geospatial software like ArcGIS. We know that it's possible to estimate land surface temperature manually. However, and also this option is available in QGIS. However, Today I will use a plugin to show you how to estimate land surface temperature automatically. So if you like these types of video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel in order to be notified regarding the future videos from my channel. Okay, let's start. First of all, I'm going to download a Landsat 8 data from USGS website. If you don't know about the Landsat 8 data's band capabilities, you can search Landsat 8 data's band. It's going to give you some suggestion. However, this is the trustable website and you can use this one. From here, we, we can see we have OLI and also TIRS. There are two bands, bands 10 and 11, that they are considered as the thermal bands. And we will use this one in order to estimate land surface temperature. Okay, let's go back to Earth Explorer. The time you enter the website you need to log in from login i have an already account if you don't have any account you need to create an account in the next step i have to define a study area for example i'm choosing this part of italy it's easy to define a study area just click on the area that you are interested like me by the time you are clicking all the coordinate system also are available in the left side of your screen okay from here i have to define a range of date I'm preferring from the 1st of Ju July. Until the end of August in order to reduce the cloud cover from data set. Looking for Landsat. There are two different level of Landsat data, level 2 and level 1. Some atmospheric cor correction have been done for Landsat level 2 data. However, for level 1, it's not, it's ha it has not been done for this purpose. The plugin that I'm going to use in QGIS is using level 1 for this purpose. I'm choosing Landsat 8 or 9 level 1 data and click on results a list of available data will be here you can check from footprint and click on download for example I'm using this one I'm going to download this one too If you want to have all data in one pack, you can use product option. From here, you can click on that. It's going to download all available product. Okay. In the next step, define a folder. Landsat 8 or L8. Save. 
it's gonna take a while in order to download okay very good as you can see from here it's successfully downloaded from here i'm going to the folder i need to extract this file for this purpose right click and render extract files define an output folder i will leave it in default okay it's extracted six, uh, successfully right now i'm going back to my qgis environment the plugin that i'm going to use for this purpose is rs and gis for installing plugin from plugins manage and install plugins from search we can look for rs and gis by clicking on that we can see a brief explanation regarding this plugin apart from lsd it's it's capable of estimating ndvi tcc and etc right now i need to click on install plugin okay very good from here we can see it's successfully installed right now i need to do some preparation first of all i have to open this plugin as the raw data input we have several options compressed file extracted file folder containing the extracted file I tried these two, however, they are not working. For this one, I'm going to use compressed files. And also, there is some points that you need to obey. Right now, I will show you how to do this. I'm going back to my extracted file. From here, we can see all the downloaded data. Right now, in order to use that options, I mean, compressed one this one i need to put these files all the bands in inside the one zip it file for this purpose i select all of them right click from winrar add to archive archive format zip from here i'm gonna change the name to lsd okay click on ok as you can see it's gonna create a new zip it file okay very good i'm going back to my qgis environment from here, as I said before, I'm choosing compressed file from browse. Go to the folder that you created the zip file. If you remember, I downloaded and also saved the file from USGS website here, but we cannot see it. For this purpose, I did this, this process extract it and again compress it as you can see here it's available click on that select it and open it in the next step we have ignore no data value we select this one and also if you want to exclude clouds you can select this one i don't want to do this since as i check there's no cloud in my image here we have some outputs you can define based on top of atmospheric reflectance top of atmospheric radiance depends on your need and also you can define this for each band 
I don't want to change them. And also here, here we have a drive it output. As I said before, we have LSD in degree Celsius, Celsius and also set temperature and the WI and etc. Here I'm going to use this one, LSD. And here we have some information. If I start from here, we can see different options and also their explanations. As I said before, I downloaded Landsat 8 level 1. Here you can see that it's mentioned to use level 1. If you download level 2, it's not going to work as I did before and I had faced a lot of problems and errors. Okay, right now everything is ready. By clicking on start processing, it's gonna extract the zip file and also estimate in land, sur land surface temperature. I back to my plugin. I check the process. As you can see, it's written process completed. Right now you are asking why it's not at the output inside my QGIS. As I said before, it's your output and also extract the file in the file that you created for zip file. From here, you can see. Okay, I'm going here from my QGIS environment. Open data, raster. From here. I saved all the output here. And this is the output folder that's created for you after this processing. From output, we have LSD. And in LSD, we have estimated land surface temperature for band 10 and also band 11. For example, here, I'm choosing band 10 and add. I, didn't, I don't need all the area for this purpose. I'm going to use a vector file. Okay, I'm going to extract it. If you don't know how to extract raster file using Polygon, there are some videos available in the channel. You can go and visit them. Okay, from raster, extraction. Here we have a clip raster by mask layer. As the input layer, we have land surface temperature for band 10. As the mask layer, this is a vector file that I imported. Pay attention to put this on zero. I will show you why. And also, if you want, you can define an output folder for your clipped mask. I'm leaving in the, in the file. Click on run and close. Here we can see the output, clipped output for my study area. I'm going to do some single band color and that's it. Okay, very good. In this tutorial, I try to give you a comprehensive explanation how to use RS and GIS plugin in order to estimate land surface temperature. I hope the content of this video will be useful for you. Thank you very much for your attention.